This is the advert for the very first ever DSLR camera that I ever owned. It came out in 2004, uh, I got it around 2010, 2011, so I was very much late to the party in that respect. But nonetheless, it just shows how wacky adverts were way back then and I thought it'd be funny to show you all. On to the video. So I thought it'd be really fun to come out today with the Canon 300D. Mentioned it in my last video, and I said it was the first camera well, first DSLR camera I ever owned, and I learned how to use the functions of a DSLR camera with it. So I thought it'd be fun to charge the battery up and come out and take a few pictures with it. And it's almost, almost feels like I'm shooting with an analog camera. Um, the battery's nearly 20 years old. So you're lucky if you get 35 shots out of it, to be quite honest with you. And obviously with 35 mil film, you only get X amount of shots anyway, so kind of makes the game a bit more interesting when you're coming out with stuff like that um, don't know what the pictures will look like but we'll have a look when we get back so there we go I also uh, wanted to stress as well like I, I made a point about the gear not mattering um, I don't know what the quality of these images are gonna be like until until they get back but one of the important key notes I wanted to make about the whole situation is it doesn't matter what equipment you've got. It could be cameras from 20 years ago. It doesn't matter. If the image makes you happy and sparks emotion and you're happy with the composition and you're happy with the, the process of taking that photograph, then that's all that matters, I think. And what gear you use is pretty much irrelevant. So unfortunately I had to cut that first photo session short because it absolutely tipped it down. But yeah, so I, I'm not being entirely truthful with you when I say that this was my very first ever uh, camera. First lot of cameras I uh, I ever had were um, disposable cameras that my grandma gave me in, in the 90s. Some of them were used, <laughs> funnily enough, but I just used to mess around with them and play with them. To the point where I took one apart once, put my finger in the flash and it, it burnt my finger. So. Little lesson there, don't put your finger inside any flashes because it bloody hurts. So the camera itself, it was the first Canon camera with the EFS mount. So it takes EF uh, lenses and it also takes the EFS mount, which is nice. And it has a whopping 6.3 megapixels. 6.3 megapixels. So you're not going to be doing an awful lot of cropping uh, with your images, but that's, that's fine. That's part of the fun. And it also has the original, the very first, the OG first CMOS sensor in it. All that uh, wonderful Canon colour science. This is where it all began. So it's an ISO 100 to 1600. It shoots 2.5 frames per second. It does shoot in RAW and the CF, it takes CF storage. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a CF card reader anymore. And uh, the only way to actually get the files off the camera is by putting a USB type B uh, wire into it and downloading them from your, to your computer. And that took a whopping 28 minutes, 28 minutes to take off about 12 images, 13 images. It's slow, it really is slow. But I'm all right with that because it's faster than I'm in film processed. So that, that's, that's a good deal. Hitting on the whole emulation of uh, using a film camera. The funky thing about this is, as I've mentioned this already, but is the battery. The battery I use is near enough 20 years old. So you can take probably 30 to 40 photographs and once you've done that, that's it. You, won't, you can't take any more uh, because the battery just dies. But also when it comes to actually reviewing the image, it's very difficult on such a tiny screen. I mean, the screen is absolutely minute. So it really does emulate that whole uh, film style. You go out with limited number of photographs and that that's good because rather than snapping 20 photographs of the same thing just on very slight angles and stuff you've kind of got to um, dedicate a little bit more time and, and thought into the process of the composition which ultimately 
will make you a better photographer, I think. Um, so I think even just from uh, from that point alone, it's it's a good idea to maybe flex those muscles every now and again and, and uh, use use these old cameras. Keep them alive. <laughs>